friends welcome to lecture number 23 that is uploading and downloading your files in selenium web driver in this lecture you will learn how to upload the files when working with selenium web driver and also download the files when working with selenium web driver in java consider this particular web page over here we have got this particular button choose file where you can upload the file so if you click on that button what happens is you can uh, navigate to any a folder or a directory on your system and then select that file but this particular dialog is actually a windows dialog native operating system dialog which cannot be handled by the selenium because not, that is not the web application or web control so how do you upload the file in the selenium web driver so it is a, in fact really simple to upload the file all you have to do is just right click on that particular element and then inspect that and after that what will happen is you will see that that element has got some the type of that element is input actually and then its type attribute has got this value as file so all you have to do is uh, just capture that particular uh, input element using the xpath or whatever element identification method you want to use and then you can just use the send keys method to send the path of the particular file and once that file is path is added and if you hit the uh, upload button that particular file will be uploaded to the server so that is how you can upload the file in selenium web driver most of the people uh, think that this can be handled by the auto it script and that is actually also possible uh, using the auto it script but i do not recommend that because auto it is just windows specific uh, so if your tests are running on linux that particular hack will not be useful to you so better you use this particular uh, way to put the path using that particular elements xpath or whatever and then uh, just send that using the send keys method so i'm gonna demonstrate that over here we have got one uh, test called as upload download test and in that let me close other files so over here you have got upload test in that what i'm doing is just navigating to that particular web page that i just showed you and then find that uh, input element whose type is file using xpath and then directly send the keys so this file path i have put it over there and then whenever user uploads that particular uh, clicks on upload button that particular file will be submitted so all you have to do is just uh, that this input elements value attribute should be this one so that is what uh, you need to take care of so sometimes that uh, input element is hidden in that case you can use the javascript executor which we have, uh, which we have already covered to set the value attribute of this input element with this particular path so that is when that javascript executor is really useful now i am going to execute this code and then let us see what happens and after this test gets executed i will explain you how to download the files from different different web browsers in using selenium web driver because at the time of downloading also sometimes windows dialog come up operating system dialogs come up so how to handle those dialogs or how to get uh, like what is the alternative solution to handle those dialogs so we are, we are going to cover that after this test so you can notice that uh, we are navigating to that particular url and then it will enter that path into that upload element upload file element so you can notice that this particular uh, uh, file path was included in that particular element so that is how you can upload the files now next is like how to download the files now to uh, like download the files what you have to do is it's actually specific to each browser so first of all let us see how to do it in chrome so you can in the chrome uh, specify the download directory where you want to download the file so i have given this particular directory and then all the files will be downloaded to that particular directory and you can also uh, set these preferences this is required if you do not want that particular dialog to appear and you can set that directory path using this particular key that is download.default underscore directory so which i have given this one then all i have done is that uh, set those options in the chrome options and then you use that options in the while setting the chrome options capability 
then passed that capability to the chrome driver and finally all i am doing is just uh, clicking on the download link on that particular page where that image is going to uh, going to be downloaded if you execute this particular code what will happen is uh, that image will be downloaded to this particular directly that is c user sagar documents photos so if you go to documents and photos directory over there that particular file will be downloaded so i'm going to delete existing file and then see how it works so let us run this program so there on this page we have got this button download which actually downloads that particular file the image file you can see this particular save as dialog is coming but with the help of that code that dialog doesn't appear it actually uh, downloads that file into this particular given directory because of the settings so that file will be downloaded to this directory as you can see it has clicked on the download link and then if you go to that directory that file would be available over there it's myimage.jpg you can see that this file is already downloaded over there in that directory so that is how you can download the specific file in a specific directory in Serenium web driver in java so these two settings are very important now next is how to do it in firefox so we have another test uh, that is firefox download test and in that we will have to use this firefox profile particular class in that you need to set the preferences in the folder list uh, is equal to two we have given it means that we are going to specify the download directory and you can see that download directory is specified as this one then we have used this particular syntax never ask save to disk so here we are saying specifically that do not ask or uh, do not show that particular uh, file save dialog if uh, we want we are trying to download those particular files and then use the i have passed that pro firefox profile into this firefox driver constructor and the rest of the code is uh, same as the above one and what will happen is that uh, that file will be downloaded to that particular directory so remember these three settings i'm not gonna run this program uh, because the output will be the same it will just uh, download that file in or in uh, here in this particular directory so you just need to remember that uh, you need to create the firefox profile object and then set this particular keys moving on uh, like internet explorer so in internet explorer uh, what you do is uh, you have to by default these files are downloaded uh, in the particular downloads directory users download directory so all you have to do is just uh, because there is no configuration as such which we can pass to the internet explorer driver so you have to rely on the internet explorer's default settings to see or get those files so by default internet explorer uh, saves the files on the downloads directory users download directory so you can notice that in this downloads directory uh, all the files will be automatically downloaded so you can go ahead and then uh, get that file from that particular location so for internet explorer you don't have uh, settings similar to the firefox or the chrome so that is how you can upload and download the files in uh, using selenium web driver in java i hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on selenium web driver mm -hmm.